Hi guys, Deanne here from Canada Abroad and thanks so much for tuning in. Today I'm bringing you the latest OINP draw uh, that occurred today and it was a human capital priority stream draw. So if you're not familiar with um, OINP and the different types of draws that they have, there's some that are linked to the express entry system and some that are separate from the express entry system. So this one was for people who had a valid express entry profile and they had ticked off that they were either interested in Ontario or all provinces. Now this draw was a little bit different than anything we'd seen for the human capital priority stream. Usually we see it's um, a general human capital priority stream draw We've seen targeting for healthcare professions, uh, targeting for IT professions, but this one, it was called other priority occupations, which we haven't seen before. This was a big draw, okay? The number of people that was chosen doesn't, it doesn't seem as big uh, when you take everything into consideration. It was for 1,424 individuals that would have received an invitation to apply for a provincial nomination. So don't forget with this program, if you do get a notification from Ontario, you still have to submit a full application to the province first. And the provincial fee is $1,500 Canadian. They then review all of the information. If everything is correct and accurate, then they'll issue you the provincial nomination, which gets loaded to your express entry profile and you will get 600 extra points added to your score. And then you can be picked in the general draws, uh, PNP targeted draws, or if you also have Canadian experience CEC draws. So usually 600 points though is gonna guarantee you an invitation to apply from the express entry system. Now, we know that this was a bit of a different draw. And when they say other priority occupations, you know, with their list, we're usually, used to a small list. I counted how many occupation codes, 103. So they selected people with 103 different types of NOC codes in this draw. And I'm gonna list <laughs> it in the uh, description below because I'm not gonna read off 103 different NOC codes to you. So you can check the description below for the full list of the occupations that were chosen. Now they said that you had to have listed one of these occupations as your primary NOC code. So it couldn't be something that was just in your work history. This had to be designated as your primary NOC code in your express entry profile. And the second thing was that you had to have a specific CRS score. So they were only giving um, invitations to apply to people with a score between 505 and 528. So if you had 504 or 529, then you wouldn't have been eligible even if you had one of those targeted NOC codes. So that's the other important thing to note. So if you had the exact CRS score in that window, if you had listed um, the NOC code, one of them, as your primary code, and you had said that you were interested in Ontario, then you should be expecting um, a letter and it'll come through your express entry profile, so your GC key. You would log in there and there'd be a message for you from Ontario with instructions on how to apply. So thank you guys as always for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you wanna stay up to date with the latest Canadian immigration news and updates.